please raise your hand if you know another language than English. Quite a few, that's great. Would it surprise you to know that according to the media, bilingual people are smarter, better, faster, stronger? Being bilingual myself, you should know that I agree with all of that. But that's not exactly what my research is about. Personally, I'm interested in a very unique subculture in bilingualism, autistic bilinguals. Just like all the skills we master, bilingualism does influence the way the brain works. For example, it stimulates the development of a social cognitive mechanism called perspective taking. Perspective taking is what we use when we take the perspective of someone else and we try and understand what they think or feel. So for example, when I say, I think that you think this is fascinating, I use perspective taking. As it happens, autistic people can really struggle with real life perspective taking. And this can have strong negative consequences in terms of their ability to create and maintain relationship with other people. Now, maybe you think, well, autistic people can also struggle to communicate, so how could they even be bilingual? Well, long story short, they can. And in my first study, I even recruited 54 autistic adults who knew four languages or more, which is at least three more than for some of you. So let's go back to perspective taking. With my PhD, I want to know whether the positive influence of bilingualism on perspective taking abilities also exists in autism. And I'm looking at the interaction between bilingualism and autism every step of the way. First, I described the bilingualism journey of 200 autistic adults who told me about how bilingualism had influenced their lives. They spontaneously said that bilingualism had given them more self-confidence. It had helped them to better understand themselves and others. Then, I measured the effect of bilingualism on the perspective-taking abilities of autistic and non-autistic adults to understand what it is about bilingualism that shapes the way our mind works. And now, I'm looking at what's happening inside the brain by measuring how bilingualism changes the brain networks supporting perspective-taking. My research is the first to describe how the autistic mind can approach and respond to language learning to strengthen social abilities. Thanks to this research, we'll be able to better support autistic people in their language learning, so that one day no one thinks that autistic people cannot raise their hands when I ask, how many of you here are bilingual?